If you want to see the structure of your organization, an organizational chart is a great option to do so. An organizational chart shows the structure of an organization based on the hierarchy. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Basher and today I'll demonstrate how to create an organizational chart in Excel. For this video, I'll use Microsoft Excel 365. Here is the employee dataset. This includes the name of the post, the employee name, and the employee ID. I have created an organizational chart using this dataset. Let me briefly explain the hierarchy of this organization. There are four technical writers, and they will report to the team leader. The team leader will report to the project manager. Finally, the project manager will report to the CEO. The CEO holds the highest rank in this organization and the rank of the project manager, human resources, and SEO strategists are same. In this video, I will show you the details process of creating this organizational chart. You can use the Smart Art feature to manually create an organizational chart. To do so, move to the Insert tab. From the Illustrations section, click on this drop down icon. Here you will find different illustrations section. Go to Smart Art and click on it. This opens. Choose a Smart Art graphic window. Here you will find different available graphics. In my case, I'll choose Hierarchy. You can see different block list here. You can choose any block list according to a requirement. In my case, I'll choose the Hierarchy. A Hierarchy chart is a way to show the flow from top to bottom. Now click on OK to create the chart. You can see the template of the hierarchy chart. Place the chart here to get a clear view of this dataset. Let's get introduced to this hierarchy chart. This hierarchy chart contains some boxes where I will enter the post names along with the employee names. You can consider this box and this box as the children of the parent box. And the two children can be considered as siblings. As CEO holds the highest rank in an organization, so select the topmost box and write CEO. Press enter and type the CEO name that is Jack. You can change the formatting of the text, however, let's stick with this default formatting for now. One thing you can note that you can click on the side arrow to open the text contextual tab. Here you can see that CEO and Jack is added. All the text templates are arranged in a chronological order here. If you click on this text template, the corresponding box will be highlighted. In this box, I will type the project manager. So type project manager. Now to type the name of the employee just below the name of the post, press shift and enter. Type the name Smith. And finally, press the escape key. You can see that the project manager is added to this chart. So you can enter your text using these boxes or the contextual text box. The project manager will manage the team leader. And there is only one team leader, but there are two boxes below the project manager. So I can delete a box, click on a box, and hit the delete button. As a result, the selected box is deleted from this chart. This is reflected in the hierarchy text box here. Now type the post as team leader. Press Shift Enter and write the name as Rose. Finally, press Escape. The team leader will manage four technical writers, so I need to insert four boxes below the box of the team leader. You can insert boxes in many ways. In the first method, right click on the box of team leader, go to Add Shape. Here you will find different options to add boxes. In my case, I'll choose Add Box Below option. In the second method, you can use the F4 key to insert a box. Go back to the box of team leader and press F4. You can see that a box is added. Alternatively, you can move to the Smarter Design Contextual tab. From the Create Graphic option, click on this drop down icon beside Add Shape. I need to add the shape after the selected shape, so choose Add Shape After option. And you can see that a shape is added. In the fourth method, you can use the shape hierarchy option to add shape. As our shape is selected, press enter to insert a new shape. And you can see that four shapes are added. Now let me quickly fill the shapes. Go back to the first shape. Type technical writer 1. Press shift enter. 
type the name Lily, move to the next shape, type technical writer 2, press shift enter, type the name John. You can see that technical writer 2 is added to this shape, write technical writer 3, Type the name Harry, move to the next shape, type technical writer 4, press shift enter, type daisy, finally press escape. All the technical writers are listed here. Now I need to insert the human resources and ACS strategies to this chart. As the ranks are same, so I need to add a shape. Select this shape, right click on it, move to add shape and select add shape after you can see that a shape is added you can delete this shape as it is unnecessary now type human resource type the employee name move to the next shape type the post name press shift enter and type the employee name and this completes my organizational chart. You can see the hierarchy here. Now, if you want to change the formatting of the text, that's up to you. To change the formatting, select the text, move to the Home tab. In the Font section, you will find the associated formatting. You can click on this bold icon or press Ctrl plus B to bold the post name CEO. To change the font size, you can click on this drop down icon and choose any font size according to your choice. You can see that the font size of CEO has changed to 14. I want to stick with the default formatting, so I am choosing the font size as the default font size 9. When you are done with the formatting, you can press the escape key and click on this side arrow to hide the text box. To move your chart, as the four-headed arrow appears, click and drag it and place the chart here. In this way, you can create your organizational chart. In the previous method, I needed to create the chart manually. In this method, I'll show you how to create a dynamic chart. You can use the add-ins feature to create a dynamic organizational chart. To make the chart dynamic, I have inserted two columns, manager ID and role type to our dataset. You will find the ID of the manager of an employee in the manager column. For example, project manager bearing ID2 manages the team leader. So I have inserted ID2 in the manager ID column and ID2 is the employee ID of the project manager. Now let's insert the organizational chart. I'll use the add-in features to create the chart. The feature will create a table as well as the chart. So first of all, I need to select the cell where the table will be created. Select cell B15. In case you want to create the chart in a separate worksheet, you need to select that worksheet. Now move to the developer tab. From the add-ins section, click on add-ins. This opens office add-ins window. Now move to the store section. Here you will find different available add-ins. I will use the Microsoft Visio Data Visualizer add-in. As I have used this add-in previously, so this appears in my search list. However, if you do not find it here, you can search the add-in in the search box. Now click on add. This opens an agreement window. Click on continue and you'll find the data visualizer window. You can choose the continue without signing in preview option. This will activate the data visualizer. You'll find different options here. In my case, I'll choose the organization chart. There are various organization chart. In my case, I'll choose hybrid. So click on create and you can see the chart is being created. Place the chart here to get a clear view of the data set. You can see that a sample table is created and the reason I have added the manager ID and roll type column is that the sample table contains the manager ID and the roll type columns and an organizational chart is created based on the table. You need to insert your data to create your own table. So let's quickly copy paste the data. For the employee ID column, select the cells D5 to D13, press Ctrl C to copy, move to cell B16 and press Ctrl plus V to paste the values. Similarly, copy paste the name, select cell C5 to C13, press Ctrl C, now move to cell C16, press Ctrl V to paste. For the title section, select cells B5 to B13, 
copy the values. Go to cell D16. Press Ctrl plus V to paste the values. Now copy the manager ID and paste the values. Finally, copy the role. Go to cell F16 and paste the values. Now to update the sample chart, click on refresh. Sample chart is created. Resize the chart a little bit to get a clear view of the chart. You can zoom the chart. Now if you scroll up, you can see that the organizational chart is created. But this record is not in our employee list. It is from the sample table. To delete the values from the sample table, resize the chart again to get a clear view of the sample table. Scroll down. Now delete the cells D25 to F28. Select the cells. Right click on it. Go to delete option and choose table rows. And you can see that the selected cells are deleted. Now you need to update the chart. Click on the refresh icon. And you can see that the chart is updated accordingly. I have demonstrated the step by step guide for creating an organizational chart in Excel. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blogs, or you can share your Excel related issues in our Exceldemy forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.